You are listening to KTSTFM. I'm Alan Ng, and this is the Secret City Geek Lab. Uh, moving on, we are talking about E3, and what I forgot to mention, um, next week we're going to talk about some of the advances that are on the new Xbox One, and we'll also take a sneak peek at Dead Rising 3. Uh, moving on, we are going to talk with Joey Shope. He had a chance to review the news about the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, and it's going to make his summer very interesting. His very strong opinions about both, and especially about the one that he is going to buy. Here's that report from Joey Shope. Secret City video game discussion. I just got back from E3. Joey didn't go, but uh, he has certainly opinions about the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. So, uh, Joey, what's your uh, what's your feeling about the two consoles here? Well, uh, this is going to be kind of weird for me, but I think I might be jumping ship from Microsoft to Sony. Oh, okay. So, uh, give us some reason why. It's essentially that everything that Microsoft said or did in E3 was mistakes. Uh -huh. Most of them were. Uh, what I will give Microsoft is the fact they showed off a lot more video games than uh, Sony did. Sony mostly talked about how wrong Microsoft and the Xbox One was going to be. Uh -huh. So I think that was, you know, they, they did not pull their punches at all, but they didn't show a lot of video game content. All right, let's go over some of uh, your... Your thoughts. Uh. Well, again, it's Microsoft. You know, they you know they try to make some progress by saying stuff like now the Xbox no longer has to be online all the time. Just you know, they have to be online once in a twenty four hour period. Mm -hmm. But if you don't log on to the internet with using your Xbox One, oh, now you can't play any video games at all. Uh, another issue is the price. Yeah. Uh, uh, Microsoft Xbox One four hundred ninety nine dollars compared to PS four, which is uh, going to be three ninety nine. That's not cheap, but it's a hundred dollar yeah. difference. Yeah, what I found interesting though was that uh, PlayStation waited to micro waited until Microsoft announced their price Excellent. before they announced their price. So, <laughs> I, I mean, to me, it just it definitely sounds like uh, PlayStation is is uh, going to war. You know, they want to they want to take down my shots uh, have been fired. There has definitely been some battle between the two, mm -hmm. but a lot of it I feel like is PS uh, with Sony realizing that their mistakes in the past. Right. You know, they looked back at PS3 and they realized their mistakes. And so when it came to this generation, they're like, all right, well, let's not do any of those mistakes again. Okay. Let's fix all the problems. You know, let's make it more uh, developer friendly. Let's have it be a bigger market. Let's focus on the fact that you can share or um, uh, use use games. You know, you don't mm -hmm. have to buy new games every single time. Again, another issue with uh, Microsoft is because I'm you know a full time college student, I usually can't afford video games right when they come out, so I have to buy them used or buy them later. So mm -hmm. it's like I won't be able to most likely as of right now. It's still the same rule where you can't use used games without paying some sort of fee for it. Right. Yeah, and uh, in in fairness to well, I guess. Based on what's been released now, uh, Microsoft has announced that they that you still are able to buy used games, but they would not go and explain exactly how that would work out. Yeah, and you know they're being vague and unclear about it. My guessing is the reason that because I'm guessing it's a really recent announcement. Yeah. The fact that they're like you can use use games, but you know they've got no yeah. more details because they realize that what they asked for originally was a huge mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, what else uh, concerns you about? Uh, Microsoft, or what, what, what else? Uh, That's another reason why you're jumping ship. You know, I was never really against originally, um, you know, the whole, you have to plug your cable box into it, mm -hmm. you know, you have to watch, you don't have to watch TV through but, right. you know, essentially you're watching TV through it. Uh, but, you know, that's like another hassle, something you have to worry about, something you have to deal with, you know, you have to plug it in every single time. If you have to move that Xbox, it's another thing you have to take apart, put it yeah. together. Whereas PS4, I think it's just a very simple, clean-looking uh, you know, console. It's mm -hmm. a pretty interesting design. That's not really a huge factor for me, right. but it's it's the fact that PS4 is less of a hassle than Xbox One, yeah. and it's cheaper. So between those two points of just the easiness and you know the cleanness of it, and uh, the price point, it's like, well, you know, I can't I can't not go with the PS4. Plus, certain video games that I'm super excited that are coming out, um, uh, Kingdom Hearts Three. Yep. Which I've been wanting for seven years ever yep. since I beat Kingdom Hearts Two. And that's coming out. That's coming out. Uh, uh, I, I originally Final Fantasy I only heard it was going to be on PS4, yeah. uh, but now it's been uh, confirmed that it's going to be on both systems. Yeah. And speaking of Kingdom Hearts, uh, Kingdom Hearts the original is coming out in HD uh, for uh, for PlayStation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that should be super cool. I'm always I've always been a fan of HD remakes, but you know, yeah. uh, you know, Kingdom both Kingdom Hearts three and then also Kingdom Hearts uh, uh, two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just the just HD remakes have always been... Yeah, the, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3 and the original Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, so that should be really awesome. Um, 
one of the things I'm still not certain, I know Xbox said that they're definitely not, or they're pretty sure they're not, is backwards compatibility. And I'm not sure about PS4, but I know PS4 yeah. talked about a cloud saving system. Right, and I think that's what uh, Xbox is doing well as well. I mean, the both consoles are not backwards compatible, but there is a cloud service that allows you to play your old games. Yeah, okay, so, I mean, you know, Xbox One, you know, there's it's not all bad, but PS4 had more good things and bad things, yeah. whereas the Xbox One is just nothing been a hassle. People have been complaining about right. it, and it's like... And honestly, I think price has been a big thing. And I think, uh, I don't know, I, I kind of feel like maybe PlayStation is uh, doing a little shenanigans by uh, by by waiting for Microsoft to, to announce their price before undercutting it. I think... Which, which is perfectly fine. I mean, I don't, you know, <laughs> I think you're going to say it. You know, I don't care... Uh, what happens to the corporation yeah. is going to benefit me by having a cheaper yeah. console. I thought it was actually a really good idea. I thought that's, yeah. you know, if you're going to have a competition between two major companies, right. that you want to do something like that. Um, but, you know, until I have an actual console in my hands with a controller playing versus each one, then I won't really know which one's really going to be the better system. But as far as we know, Xbox One might be actually a really great system, but Microsoft is... They're only, not marketing it very, very well. They're not marketing... But this could be the new... This could... As far as we know, Microsoft One could be the next thing. Like, every single household is going to own one of these now because it, you know, has cable. It has all this stuff. But it's just poorly marketed, whereas PS4 has been doing, uh, and Sony have been doing nothing but ridiculing Microsoft. All right. All right. Well, uh, if you want to learn more about Joey's thoughts about uh, PS4 versus Microsoft, uh, go to Secret City Geek Lab. There's an article he wrote online now. <laughs> 